Hello everybody, today we're just going to have a look back on the tragic fight between Emil Griffiths and Benny Kid Parrot. Emil was a fantastic fighter, a five time world champion and this was the third meeting that he would have with Benny Parrot having won one each. Parrot came in as the title holder. There was a lot of ill feeling in the build up to the fight. Emil was as he described himself, a bisexual man. And uh, Benny Parrott took great joy in basically trying to needle him with this at the weigh-in, calling him a faggot and trying to, trying to grab his backside. This might not seem a big issue in today's society, but back in the 60s, homosexuality was still quite frowned upon and would be extremely damaging to Emile's career if it were to come out that he was homosexual or indeed bisexual. Emile was the betting favourite in the fight but Parrot had the reputation of being a tough fighter who could take quite a lot of punishment and still continue. Things began to take a turn for the worse for Benny in the 12th round and things started to unfold quite rapidly. In what was one of boxing's most brutal knockouts, Emil managed to unleash an approximate 29 unanswered punches onto Benny before the referee intervened to call a halt to the fight. Benny was still upright on his feet when the referee stopped the fight and then proceeded to slide down the ropes and collapse. The referee's justification for not stopping the fight sooner was that he was aware that Parrot would often feign injury and then fight back and being the champion he had every right to defend his title. At this point, Benny was unconscious and sadly, he never regained consciousness. After initially celebrating the stoppage with his corner team, Emil soon realised that something wasn't quite right and something had gone wrong and he did try to check on Benny, but he was pushed away. Emil having a gentle character, despite the needle in the fight, as soon as he realised that Benny was stricken, this obviously had weighed quite heavily on his mind and caused him a great deal of concern. Despite hospital treatment, Benny sadly passed away 10 days after the fight. He was 25 years old leaving behind a wife and a two-year-old son.
Mill himself died in 2013 at the age of 75. My hope is that somehow, somewhere, these two fighters have been reunited and are at peace with each other. Now in a time-honoured manner, let's sound us ten bells for these two great champions. Rest in peace, Emil. Rest in peace, Benny. Rest in peace, champions. <laughs>